Fun Facts presents the 1956 Mercedes-Benz 220S Cabriolet. This is a 50s classic car and it was introduced back in 1956 and had a production run through 1959. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. So let's get started now. Okay, the Mercedes 220S. The 220A was succeeded in March 1956 by the 220S, which was externally almost identical, but had an upgraded version of the 2.2 liter inline six. Visually, the 220S featured a new one-piece front bumper instead of the three-piece bumper used on the 220A. Also, the twin chrome and rubber strips running under the doors of the 220A were replaced with solid chrome strips. The most obvious difference is the addition of a chrome strip running along the front fenders and the doors of the 220S. The 220S was available with a four-speed column shift manual transmission with an optional Hydrac automatic clutch. This made use of small micro switches on the gear selector that automatically disengaged the clutch when the driver changed gears. <clears throat> Many cars have subsequently been converted to use a regular manual clutch due to the high maintenance cost of continuing to use the high drag clutch. Also introduced with the 220S was the W105-219, which from the A pillar forward was essentially a single carburetor from the 220A, but rearward from the A pillar it used a shorter body of the 120 dash 121 on the 180 and 190 models. In July 1956, a convertible, two doors, four seats, joined the lineup, and in October of 1956, a coupe version followed suit. Some convertibles were finished with folding rear seats to accommodate additional luggage. Until 1959, October, 55,279 220S saloons and 3,429 convertibles and coupes were built. The fuel injected 220SE versions that officially bore the model code W128 were introduced in October 1958 and carried on until November of 1960. In 1956 through 1959, Mercedes-Benz built the 220S Cabriolet, and in 1956, Mercedes-Benz began to offer their 220 model in a lavish coupe and Cabriolet that sold in much smaller numbers than the sedan they were based off. From the July of 1956 until late 1959, 2,178 Cabriolets were made alongside 1,251 coupes and over 55,000 sedans. These cars used the M180 924 inline six engine, which was one of the last to use regular carburetors over injection system. The single carb units produced around 100 BPH while later cars used two Solex 32Ss to produce 105 bhp. All the cars used a four-speed manual transmission, but Mercedes-Benz did offer a Hydrac automatic clutch that used switches in the column to shift the lever to activate. The Mercedes-Benz 220 
was their bread and butter model, comprising the vast majority of cars built particularly for export in the mid and late 1950s. First introduced in 1951, the 220 was comfortable, well built and attractive. Its 80 horsepower single overhead camshaft six, however, did little to provide exciting performance. A drastic leap forward for the brand would occur in 1953 with the adoption of the unibody construction across more accessible sedan range. With only the slightest hint of separate rear fenders, the full en envelope bodywork was modern while still being instantly recognizable as a Stuttgart product. <clears throat> These models would subsequently be dubbed the Ponton cars as a reference to their pontoon fenders. Under the skin, the fully independent front suspension and single joint rear swing axle gave excellent road hand holding but was tuned by Mercedes-Benz for comfort and stability at high speed. <clears throat> the W180 introduced in 1954 was effectively an upscale version of the 120.7 inches were added to the wheelbase in order to both make the passenger compartment roomier but also to provide additional room for the larger six-cylinder engine. The first run of cars on the chassis were the 220A models powered by the single carburetor motor producing 84 horsepower. The 220S would arrive in 1956 with dual carburation and a higher compression ratio. This resolved the power shortcomings of the 2.2 liter single overhead camshaft six cylinder, the M180 engine, and eventually culminated in 120 horsepower. Further adding diversity to the lineup that year were the additions of the coupe and cabriolet models, 3,429, roughly 4% of the total production run, two-door 220S Mercedes were completed, making them both rare and desirable to marquee enthusiasts. Okay, well if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot of the cars from the 50s, the concept cars, we'll be doing sports cars, we'll even be doing the trucks, uh, I think here in not too long, um, in the 50s. In the 60s, we'll be doing the sports cars, the concept cars, the muscle cars, and that's going to be an exciting section. We will be doing autoramas and we'll be doing auto shows, custom cars, and hot rods. So there should be a little bit of everything for everybody. So we hope to see you when we upload our next video. And always, always, always take good care and have a great day. Thank you.